Let me accept this guy, he first one, he sent a request. How are you, brother? Hey, brother, how are I'm, you? Are you Muslim or Christian? Hello? I am using my friend's account because he's sleeping. I'm a Greek Orthodox. My name is Christo. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I, was, I was watching the chess game earlier, man. So How what do you, you try to do? What try to say? Well, from what from what I seen, it looked like both of you guys were playing chess, and it looks like in the end of the day, I don't think you got what you wanted. Why you As said that? Christian. You are a Christian? Are you sure yeah, you are Christian. a Christian? Yes, I am. My name is okay, Christo. Cool. Well, just just calm down, brother. With all respect, just calm yes. down. I am Orthodox. Okay, I'm too. just gonna say. Okay. No one is perfect. Brother, brother, no perfect. brother, brother. Yes. If you want to cut me off again or talk over me, say bye to the camera. Okay. You made a claim and you said you are a Christian, right? And specifically Greek Orthodox. I'm Orthodox. Okay. So my question to you, brother, do you know the morning prayer? To, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm Greek Orthodox. Mm. I was raised on it. I, have I you don't read know. the Bible before? Okay. Have you read I've, the, I've the read Bible the before? Bible. I've read the cool. Bible. <clears throat> have you but read I, it? Have you read it, the David Gospel chapter 2? No. How about William Gospel? I have not. But so can I tell you, you are a liar. We, we don't have the David Gospel. We don't have... William Gaspel, they say bye to the camera. You see, brother, all those <laughs> cowards, they deny his religion. He deny his religion, and he yep. came to attack Christianity right. with no knowledge. He's right, a with coward. No knowledge. Yes. See, yes, I just destroy him on one question. Have yep. you read it? David Gospel before, chapter two? Right. He said no. How about William Gospel? To be honest, I didn't read it. Coward. Why right. you deny your religion? Right. Trust your Allah, man. <laughs> Let right. me accept another one. Congratulations, he left Islam because he denied Allah and Muhammad. Congratulations, Habibi. Continue, continue. Till become a Christian. To save your uh, spirit. Let's see the next one. Amen, brother. Amen. Just, just to verify for the record that this is the Bible I read from. King no James problem, Peter. brother. I trust you. Amen, brother. <laughs> God bless you. Uh, I know, I know. It. Look, our almighty God, what he said. Yeah. Test the oh. spirit. I, right? I was raised on it. Our but, God, our almighty God, what he said. Test the spirit. Right? Yep, that's the spirit. Good thing. <laughs> yeah, we tested already now. <laughs> Let's see yeah, another next one. Let's see next one. Mine. That's what I do. Come I on, look mine. for three words that they might speak. Ask a couple of God bless words. you, brother. Nice to see you. God bless. Yeah, this is me. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm native to this land actually. I've got uh I'm Cherokee from Missouri on my mother's side. And the unfortunate story is in the eighteenth century when they were clearing the land over here, um uh, my great 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 grandfather um, he was a uh, son of a maid servant, and they dropped him off on English doorsteps, Holloways, and they adopted him and then brought him into, you know, the English way of colonization and settlement. So that's kind of yeah. how I ended up here in America, so to speak, is, you know, I mean, brother, from England, Ireland, Ireland, and homeland here. I mean, in brother. Cherokee. I mean. Let's see you speak with the mind. Hi, mine. Uh, 
I have a question for you, no? Are you Harun? Are you Muslim or Christian? Alhamdulillah, Jesus. Yeah, I'm from Muslim, you know. Cool. So now we talk about more than 10 points about Islam. Are you admitted or denied it? 10 point what? You have more than one hour in live stream sending request, and we have one hour talking about Islam. Do you admit it, uh, admit it or denied it? Denied it. I'm not denied it, but I'm a little busy because so I'm you admit it. One hour. So, which means yeah. Allah in Quran, for example, Allah in Quran, He said, The sky is a ceiling. Are you okay with that? Yeah. The sky is a roof. Are you accept? Uh, uh, are you okay with that? Sky is a roof. Sky is a roof. Uh, by the way, I'm not uh, reading like uh, details about the interpretation of Quran or everything. So you are a Muslim or not, or atheist? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a Muslim. So you are Muslim by faith or by name? By name. By name, right? Uh, so why you are a Muslim? Because I believe in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So you believe Muhammad, you don't believe Allah. Muhammad is Allah. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Who said that? Muhammad is Allah in Quran. Who is all merciful? Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad is not Allah. Muhammad Who is all merciful? My yeah. question for you. Who is all merciful? Yeah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Muhammad is all merciful in Quran. Do you want me to prove it for you? Uh, merciful for me, yeah. The Muslim, yeah. So he is Allah equal? No, it's not equal. Why you are oh. making... Allah is... Oh, you said, Allah. brother, you said Allah yeah. all merciful and Muhammad is all merciful in Quran. All merciful means in, so in which the name means? of Allah. In the no, name of Allah. Didn't Muhammad said, is no, 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 no. No, the I said in the, Quran, in, the name of, in the name of Allah, Muhammad brother, is merciful. Do you have a Quran? Okay, open for me and I will, you will teach bring, you. Bring your own Quran, bring it. Okay, chapter what? <clears throat> Surah at Tawbah. Okay, okay, let me. Chapter let me... 9, verse 128. We'll see who is Allah, Muhammad or someone fake, we don't know him. Okay. Chapter 9, verse 128. Okay, so please tell me Surah. Surah Tawbah. Surah by the way, I'm talking to you. You are a Muslim or you are from where? I'm an ex Muslim, Alhamdulillah, Jesus, brother. I left Islam for you. If you are an ex Muslim, you don't know about Surah? You know Surah? Surah to what? Surah, Surah. You have two meaning of Surah. Sometimes surah, because... Seen, or Surah, Saad? Yeah. Which one? Choose. Saad. Surah or Surah? Surah. You are not Surah. Arab. You are not Arab native, right? You are Afghani. Yeah, because right? of that, my language is my language is not Arabic because I'm from the. And for that, you cannot understand the Quran. You read a fake, a fake book, not Quran. No, it's just, the religion is not a fake book, you know. You <coughs> fake book. Reading. The religion Allah said in Quran. No, what, lang said, what language can Harun? Harun. Uh, what language? Harun. What Harun. language? Okay, okay. Harun. what language coming uh, from the God? Thank you for coming, baby. Let's see the next. Meyer, come on. Meyer. Hmm. 
guys sending requests and I accept it but let's see the next true ministry God bless you brother God bless you brother I'm a Muslim I, or Christian yeah I'm a Christian amen I just wanted to um, reiterate what you said earlier about, um, you know, the difference between religion and relationship. And Jesus came so that to provide a pathway for man to have a relationship with God. Amen. That was the purpose. All false mm -hmm. religion cannot provide a relationship with God. And Jesus yes. said on the judgment day, he said, Depart from me, I never knew you. And that word knew speaks of an intimate relationship with God, a personal relationship with God. And the Bible says that he that hath not the spirit of Christ is none of his. The way that we become reconciled back to God is we receive the spirit of God. And so this is the difference between I've been asked a question before when I've debated Muslims and they say, why do you not want to be a Muslim? I says, Islam does not provide a pathway for someone to have a relationship with God. And that's the whole purpose for Christ coming and dying on the cross. That's the whole purpose of the gospel of Jesus mm -hmm. Christ, you know. And uh, so that's I just wanted to reiterate that because that's where the focus really should, you know, the focus really is in scripture and uh, everything Amen. else is false religion. Everything outside of that's false religion. All false religion okay. will, all false religion will, will misrepresent the gospel. They'll misrepresent Christ and they'll misrepresent the cross. All false religion will do that because it's design is to prevent you from having a relationship with God. And so I just, you know, I just want to say, God bless you, brother. I have great respect for you. And uh, 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 I, I, I enjoy watching you and, and, uh, and, and seeing the uh, honest, respectful interactions uh, that you have. I, I try to debate uh, with, with Muslims and um, it, it ends up being a hot mess <laughs> because the moment. Always I, the Muslim is hot. Well. You know, and, and most of being is you don't have the language to, to to do it. I mean, you've got the right message, but you know, um, I know somebody that will debate with Muslim and they can't speak a lick of Arabic, Arabic. And I'm thinking to myself, you can't even understand what's being said to you. How can you tell somebody that you don't know the language you're native to what they're supposed yes. to think? That's just yes. totally. You, you you just can't do that. You, you can't. Now, if you want to debate English, I'll, I'll debate English with you. But um, to try to make somebody who doesn't speak English understand what I'm trying to say, forget about it. You need an interpreter, you know, which is very, you know, on it. Again, that's, you know, very, uh, you know, I that, that's what I picked up on you is you were very sound Look, about uh, your language and you're very. Brother, English is easy language. You can learn it fast. Right. But yeah, Arabic, no, is a hard. Yes. Yep. Yep. It's really yeah. hard, Arabic. Oh For yeah. That I yeah. praise Lord always. I praise Lord. He make me in Arab countries, and he teach me, and he walk with me to learn this religion for this day. Yep. Always yep. I praise Lord for that. Yeah, amen. there's a battle going on, brother. There's there's a battle going on, and okay. I, and it and it, man, you you, it, hey, listen, if you think converting Muslims is something, too, a lot. <laughs> Try bro, talking to some of them corporate of Christians. Go, bro. All the glory to the God, Jesus Christ, yep. Almighty God. We are nothing. We are like you know. We are like. Nothing, because we are a temp of God, right? So, um, the God use His Son here. A lot of Muslim from twelve years ago till now. All the Muslim debater now is ex-Muslim by my way. All Very of nice. them. 
and okay. we have a lot of fruit in the countries. But let me tell you another thing. I don't want to talk about myself. I, I like to talk about our Lord Jesus Christ always. Right. Yep. So, in Arab country, only in Arab country, a millions, millions left Islam become Christian. Even my town, my town, my town is native Islam. My town is native Islam. They don't know anything about Christianity. Now you can see in my town, in my city, more than 20 churches. More than 20 churches. Only in my city. A lot, a lot, a lot left Islam in Arab country. Why? Because mother language. When he studied the book, he be confused. Like, like now when I told you. When yeah. he studies the Quran, he will be confused, man. How can the woman have a semen and the semen coming from her chest? It doesn't make sense. Right. Absolutely, this is not book of God. But it's a small example, but just I give it to you. We have a lot of problem in Quran. A lot. A lot of people left Islam and become preaching the gospel in countries. I know some Muslim, some ex-Muslim preaching in Germany language, some in French, some in English, some in Arabic, a lot. But you guys, you living in West countries, you just understanding English language. You don't know what's happening in Arab Islamic country. Do you know in Indonesia? I have a prophecy for Indonesia. No, Indonesia before 10 years ago, is biggest Islamic country in the world. After five years, after five years, you will see Indonesia be biggest country, Christian country in the world. Indonesia. You don't know what's happening in Islamic country. So the, the, the better, the Dawah, the scholars of Islam, they're running to the West countries to mislead mm -hmm. him. Because yeah. in Islamic countries, they can't do nothing. They can't do nothing. But they're running to where? To some area don't know anything about Islam. Right. To preaching Islam. Yes. They Before I came they... to English TikTok, I used to be all brother and moderator, they know. Before I came to English TikTok, every day, one, two, three, accept Islam. I be witness, accept Shahada. But when I start till now, I didn't found one accept Islam. Why? Because the people now, people now have a knowledge. They know what's happening in Islam. Why? Yeah. Because I'm an Arab speaker. I know what, ha what, what the inside books. I study it. And yeah. I prove it with a proof. With, from Quran, from Sunnah. They yeah. have no answer. Just insulting me. Insult my mother, insult my wife, F word, K word, bad word, reporting on my account, that's all. They have no uh, nothing. Like today, why I open it this life? Today. One Muslim Dawah. He challenged me to debate me. And I did two conversations before with him. He has a lot of followers. I tested him before. I showed him, if you go to my YouTube channel, you can see one video, uh, Adil under my hand. 40 minutes, brother. I show him one hadith. To read it, he's scared to read it. And he insult me in Arabic language for the audio that I understand what he's talking about. He insult my father. My mother, my father is die. When I left, uh, left Islam, I become Christian. My father died. Mm. So... He insult my father, insult my mother in Arabic language for nobody understand what he's talking about. 40 minutes didn't read the hadith. And here on TikTok too. I open one topic, I put it this picture. Why your Allah doesn't have left hand according to Quran and hadith? Why he has only two right hand? Why he doesn't left hand? He came to me. Do you know what he said? He made Photoshop video, uh, not video, voice on me. And he said, Ahmad, he left the Christianity, become atheist. And he came to me, all his audio mentioning to him, Adil, answer, Adil, answer, Adil, go to Ahmad, expose Ahmad. He came to my life. I told him, okay, you are very welcome. You can see his video on my account here. I downloaded, I posted. 
Tell me you are very welcome out there. You will answer my question. He directly attacked me in a person. And today he attacked my wife. Mm. He talking about my wife. My wife doesn't have a social media. Why are you talking about her? Right. If you trust your Allah, come. Answer the question. Right? You're doing that well. You are yep. you are a scholar. You're a sheikh. Right? So I send a message to him through one Christian. He came like a messenger between me and him. I told him, tell him, first of all, you have to apologize for my wife. First of all, before anything. Second thing, I will give him good offer for him. I will open life and he coming la, uh, guest, host guest and then bring with him two dawah also. Two sheikh also bring with him. Three, front of me, I am lonely. You are all dawah Muslim. Three sheikh, three dawah. I am only one ex-Muslim. Let debate about the God attribute, being attribute between Islam and the Christianity. He's scared. Tell him to come here. Tell him to come here. Ah, you want me go to your live stream to control me, to insult me, to mute me, to kick me out? Right. Did you give me a chance to talk? No way. I'm right. smart. God, he teach me to be smart. Yep. Right? Okay. Between me and you, I will open life. I'm in my life. You can join the host with me from your life. Right? Nobody can control the other. Right? I think so. I'm new to he, kind of TikTok. It, it, so. He didn't accept. Oh. He's scared to accept it. For that, I opened this life earlier. Till now, still open. But he ended his life and he ran away. He asking for the donation and he ran away. Yeah. I call those guys corporates, you know. Sounds like, you know, so I, did, I didn't realize that there was corporate Muslims like there's corporate Christians. And what I mean by that is they ask for money, for knowledge. They, they don't want to share the word of God for free. They want to be like, well, if you give me a donation, I can send you this cool book I wrote. Or, you know, whatever. They might Look, brother, because you're not doing something Let me right. tell you something. According to this point, no problem if you support your brother and sister or whatever he's doing anything. Right? But if he asks, yeah. give me to do, that means business. Yep, that's business. Yes. Like uh, yep. someone, some some guy, he doing dawah here on TikTok. His name, he named himself Central. I called him Circle because <laughs> always circling. So Circle, he said, guys, if you send me lion, I will expose him. If you send me lion now, I will expose him. What? So which means you are not trusting your religion. You didn't trust your religion, but you came here for business. If you send me a lion, I will expose him. Yep. Mm -mm. And one day, two Dawa fighting in a brother, bro for all Christian, in his life, guest, fighting one the other. Why? Because Isa Dawa, he received a lot of gift. Circle Dawa didn't receive a gift. They're fighting each other. Oh, Isa, he received a lot of gift. Send me, send me, send me. That like that doing that the other what he did after he finished uh, guys I have a link for support the Muslim families in Afghanistan go support go donate if anyone one of you five dollars five dollars we can make a difference guys I have a link in my account if you support I'm supporting the Muslim uh, family in uh, Somalia like that like that but I never said that I never maybe I put my PayPal but I didn't ask to support me to preach right big difference yes very big difference very big difference yeah. and please I'm not saying anything you know about no I, I hope you don't take what I said personal because no, 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 I no, no. didn't reference that to you no, I brother, just... everything clean for who have clean heart and yeah, everything clean dirty. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? The Bible said that. Yep. Yep. And, and see, that's kind I of where I am. I never misunderstand you. Never. I never in, misunderstand in you, brother. No problem. Yeah. In my journey, I'm, I'm kind of in the, uh, because I've gone through the New Testament and the Gospels in my personal relationship. 
Um, yes. I'm more in like the watchtower part of things with the with the with the prophets, you know. And look, and, it's and a beautiful so. thing, a brother. It's a beautiful thing. At least Jesus Christ. He didn't attack my personal life without. That's anything. right. That's right. What he said, Jesus Christ. True. He said, "Are he waiting on your heart door? He knocking the door. If you open it for him, he will enter." But Allah, do you know Allah what He did? He assigned the devils with you, twenty four hours, mm. and He assigned it to angel for you to one in left shoulder, one in right shoulder, to write it down and send the facts to Allah. You know, here's here's what I've been telling. This this has been put on my my consciousness just for the longest time. Um. You know, when I observe everybody fighting amongst everybody and squabbling amongst each other, who's got the right doctrine, who's got the right belief. Um, when it comes to a higher of Islam versus Christianity and because it can get ugly, you know, now, like you said, they start insulting your wife. They start. It, it, that's got nothing to do with anything. I mean, you're just simply a messenger. You didn't write this stuff. You're just. You 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 you're standing on what you believe, and that's okay. Um, you know, as long as you're not injuring another party, obviously it's okay. <laughs> you know, you do yeah, no, no problem, brother. Uh, um, respect. I have one question in comments, sister Parisia. Parisia, she asked uh, because he is not talking about his religion. He's talking about what uh, what he left. Why? So, sister, with all respect, I respect you in humanity because you are my sister, if I agree or not in humanity. But always, always, we have to say the truth. We cannot hide the truth. However, who hides the truth? He's a devil. So for that, I'm showing the truth. The truth, I know it about Islam, I'm sharing. Right? For free for you. If you want to listening, learn you are very welcome here if not also you are very welcome here right if you want to learn more keep following and go to youtube channel if not one day brother she remind me something one day some dawa came to me and he said i will ask you a question i told him okay are you looking for the truth because i have a topic i open a topic i told him are you looking for the truth? He said, no. I told him, say bye to the camera. Right. I don't need you here. Right. I don't need you. No wasting time with you. Yep. Right? Yep. If you need the truth, in Arabic language, because my original language, my relative, my mother tongue language, I debate with a lot of atheists. You can see it on my YouTube channel in Arabic language. A lot. A lot of them become Christian after debating. Because yep. I can use yep. my language, whatever I have idea in my mind, right? Yes. yes. But in English, still I'm learning. I have only nine months start debating in English, right? For that, I can't accept hard the question because I can't explain it in English. Right. In Arabic, very easy. I can explain it. Sim simple for me in Arabic. I can close my eye and explain it. But English still, still, I, I, I admit it, still my language is not perfect. I'm trying, at least, I'm learning. Yeah, humble. Yeah. Yes, brother, let me see if we have another Muslim. We have a lot on guests, but let me accept Hayam. Hayam. Hayam Han. Come on, Hayam. Hello. Hello, Ahmed. Hey, brother, Muslim or Christian? I'm from uh, East Turkey, ex-Muslim. You are very welcome, brother. You are very welcome. <laughs> Congratulations, brother. Congratulations. You, you're running away from this devil religion. Go ahead, brother. I had a, I ran away. I had that applause a long time ago. I'm at this over six years ago. I left it. Uh, mine is not like a, the... The moral contradictions in the religion is just more like basically the logic of the religion 
uh it was and i i ex i came on to youtube maybe a couple of weeks ago just very very new and i saw that turkish guy chatting with you and that's why i thought okay let me chat with ahmed i like uh, yes i like the theology i like the religion that's my job in turkey yes uh, I, i am a tourist guide you know in turkey you have a lot of this is where the Syria and Turkey and a part of Iran is where the Christian religion is born and raised and spread. So it's, you get a lot of tourists over and you get a lot of temples and monuments and stuff to tell. So you have to know the religion quite good to tell to tell people uh, about the place and what happens. Yeah, uh, I came on YouTube. Okay, let's just chat with the guy. What what's going on? Uh, my, yeah, uh, mostly. Every in Turkey is uh, the Muslim way is totally different from what. Uh, being uh, taught in Arabic countries is really yeah. uh, totally too big with different worlds. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you know it, Ahmed. Uh, I mean, if we not... Yes, I know it because uh, Atatürk is switch everything, Atatürk. Mustafa yeah. Kemal. Yes. Yeah, uh, like, like this, Ahmed, especially um, when after the ISIS happened, all the test series, the Hadith books, everything, everything revised so quickly. I swear you, Ahmed. I don't believe in anything, but just I, I still feel like I have to, when I want to emphasize the point, I, say, I have to say I swear. But uh, all the Hadith book, like those killed the apostles, all those people, uh, the prophet killed that Jewish woman, that Jewish writer, or that pregnant woman. One day, woman, 600 was, person cut the head, uh, man, and take the woman's 700 no, men. I mean, I send you the link of the Hadith books, and there are also applications on Google Play. Honestly, look how much those, not the Hadith is there, but just the ones has been all cut off. Everything has been cut off, everything. We had, a, we had an incident, I mean, and, and uh, six year old Edgar, a sheikh married a girl, uh, six years old, two, two best friends. He's marrying his best friend, daughter. She's six years old. Like the, the way it happened between Abu Bakr and uh, Muhammad. Uh, you can Google it, Ahmed. It's still on the court. Yeah, the funny sure. thing, brother, about this story, Muhammad, he married Aisha when he came to ask her father to marry Aisha. Do you know his, her father, what he answering Muhammad? He you said, are my no, best friend. you are my brother. He said, yeah. no, you are my brother. He said, no, no, you are my brother in Islam. I can, I allowed to take her. I can, I can marry her. Yeah. Six years old. And he's yeah, 50, and, uh... 52 years old. And in Turkish Islamic encyclopedia is written that it was a such a bad habit that you would get somebody as a brother that which is not your blood related. I just thought, why should it be bad? You call somebody my brother and then you get in your house and then stuff, you trust him and then the guy to, uh, turn out to be like in your daughter or your wife or whatever. Why should it be bad? Who can, can you trust? And you trust nobody then. It just totally uh, destroys the morality between, uh, yeah, it doesn't have to be always uh, blood related, right? You can also love somebody more than your brother, even if it's not blood related. Depends who you are, what exactly. you do, I think. Anyway, Ahmed, after this six years old marriage, exactly like how it happened, had it in and had it, the prep, the girl, the girl literally goes to judge. The, the judge is also one of those, uh, Jamaat leader kind of is member of that. They, yes. um, anyway, they cover up the situation. The girl ex literally record all her husband's voices. She make him talk. Like uh, her mother prepared her when she was six years old, brush her hair, and her brother took her hand and take her to a room, and the guy end up in a room. Let's be playing, give her toys, and the guy later, I'm sorry, but uh, that tightening thing yes. happens. Happens. A turkey went wild. I mean, you cannot imagine. There were so same many. Uh, yeah, same. There were so many videos. You, you know that in the non-Arabic countries, they some of them say Asha was 18, now he's 20. I so. Is 27 claims, but at least 50 percent of them were like they are the. Uh, they I have are six Muslims. book. I have yeah. six book, prove it from authentic hadith. Aisha, she was six years old, literally. Yeah. When but Muhammad married her. So many sheikhs were saying, "Yeah, Aisha was nine years old, but it was a warm they're, blind." They're trying to circling it. with the Shia yeah. books. Yeah. Ahmed, what happened is after this event, next week, all these videos from the sheikhs that Asha was six, but it was in that time, it was normal type videos, everything gone. Yes, they Not, were deleted. Uh, for that, I'm start buying physical books. Yeah. For that. Yep. Yep. Just right. I've Google got some very Turkish. nice books about the American history, and I've, I've got yeah. some very nice books about world history um, that will blow your mind. 
and it will give you an insight and an explanation 100% as to why Earth is in the condition that it is in right now, state of emergency. Yes. Because there's no love. Yes, brother. Yes, there's brother. There's no love. And until we stop and say, wait a minute, kind of like what you did, I'm a, wait a minute, this Islam is not correct. Something's off. And you went right for the translations. You, you know, that's your biggest piece. You went right to make sure that people were getting the correct message. And hallelujah to you because you did it. And if to anybody else that has broken through the chains of deception, because that's real on both sides of the fence. It does, if I go to China, I'm, I'm going to live under a government that has me deceived. If I go to Russia, I'm going to live under a man-made government that has me deceived. Same as in America. It's, it's, it's very, very... And, and I say this... Amen. I mean, brother, because I stand uh, on historical respect, ground. Yeah, with all respect, brother. God bless you. Let's let uh, let the brother finish. However, yeah, he sorry, I didn't mean to cut off. And, yeah, my apology. Uh, my last point, Ahmed, was uh, the earthquake. You know, happened in Syria also, and there were so many uh, infants. Uh, they lost their parents. So what happened is there were a lot of on live TV, uh, Turkish people, and also myself also applied for adopting those kids, and uh, the, uh, the religion affair. Of Turkey, this is we call Dianet. All it's supposed to be all uh, religions, not only Muslim, Sunni Islam. But uh, they, they they declared a fatwa. They said these girls you are adopting. Remember, they are halal for you. In the future, there is no problem that you can marry for them as that you are not their parents. Yes. This this is happening the very same week. Oh, According it, Muhammad, like, in Quran. Yeah, it, but TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, everybody, even the Muslims. Say if your book, they say fuck your book. If this is your religion, fuck your. People believing like, if how can we can think about that situation? A three years old girl lost his children, his parents. We people trying to give them a home and a safe place. Yes. You talking about in the future, getting them married? It's halal for you. Can it? And yeah, it was it was unknown. I mean, it's even a little bit uh, when you give, show people liberal in liberal countries the pure religion, how it happened. Yeah. Just a little bit taste of it. They find straight away so sour, they throw up straight away. It, they, you cannot even handle a very, very soft one close to it, right? Yes. And I feel, uh, I feel bad now is uh, happening, how, how it's happening with, uh, a, a, in, in Syria and in Turkey. So we have about 10 I'm million Syrians also. That. Yeah, I yeah, I'm sorry. So, sorry. I myself, yeah. I'm a Kurdish also. I know uh, how it is to be a lot, a lot not, of not a civilian. Yeah, Are you Kurdish? Civilians. I'm Kurdish, yeah. After yeah, me too, brother. Season. Oh. Me too. I'm from okay. Afrin. Oh, you've been from Afrin. Okay. Yeah. Okay, buddy. Hush. Shani Ahmed. Hush, hush, brazis. No problem, brother. Me too. My my Kurdish is broken too. <laughs> yeah, my Kurdish, my Kurdish. I am 31 years. I must speak in Ahmed. I moved to the west of Turkey and to run away from the discrimination and expression from the Turkish government before, but yeah, it is almost uh, almost that. I can understand it. I can understand the Iraqis also. I can, when I push, I can speak it, but mostly it, it is that by me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It is a, uh, yeah. we had one, uh, I just tell you, Ahmed, in, in, in what you said, uh, when you said it's spreading in Syria, the Christian, uh, I, I think in the Turkey, I see also there were the, the extremists, they were complaining about a lot of new churches in Turkey. Why are they not stopping it? And uh, this was the point. Uh, a lot of time they criticize him, not other economy of bad uh, management or shitty apartments or uh, yeah, corruption. It's just like we were complaining about so much uh, new churches. I think it's also, I didn't know until the earthquake, I didn't know there were so many Christians in Turkey. They came to yeah. the, the earth. A lot, a lot, a lot yeah. convert to Christianity in Turkey. A lot. It is a lot, Ahmed. You're millions. Right. It is a lot. A lot, a lot. But uh, yeah. what happened is, uh, well, this is the video I was going to tell you I want, why I came to on TikTok. There was a, a video on YouTube. Uh, there was a TikTok link on it. Uh, there are two sheikhs. They end up the Christian, uh, the church where they opened the place uh, to help the victim of the uh, victim of the earthquakes. And the mm -hmm. sheikhs going inside it, and come back, and then they, they make a video. These are the missionaries 
they pretend to be so nice to you. They are so sweet. They are so welcoming. They help you with everything running around you, but they are faking. Remember, they are trying to attract the religion. Even in that in that point, they were, they were suspecting that they are the bad uh, missionaries with yes. the dark uh, cross on Politics. their chest. But yes. remember, they are so sweet. They are so nice to you. They just do anything for you. But don't be deceived. Eh? They were. They made a video like that. I said, "What the fuck?" <laughs> they are uh, sweet Christians. Also, they are sweet. Uh, God Christians bless also. you. They are. Yeah. God bless you, brother. And yeah, God bless, bless you, my brother. Um, PHL, yeah. T Truth. God bless all brother and sister. I would like to continue with you. I love to continue with you. But is a five. 36 morning i didn't sleep yet yeah so god bless you a brother and sister thanks i'm at you uh, may, yeah maybe we continue uh, in the future if you want to add anything before we we go go ahead brother hey i just lift you guys all up to peace man you know and love your neighbor love god uh love christ um continue to be well with one another good fortune for everybody good help Good night. Amen. Thank you for coming, brother. God bless you. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome here. You are very welcome. Uh, brother Hayam, brother. Uh, thanks a lot for your time, man. Uh, my boy work off, so I had to take him to peace, sorry. Yes. And, uh, yeah. Tub khosh hoti. Khair hoti, habibi. Khashate, brother. Khashate. Tuk sabi. Sabi, habibi. You are very welcome here. Bye. Thanks. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, so brother and sisters, God bless you all, and may Jesus Almighty God bless you and guide you and protect you with your families, in the name of Jesus Christ, and yeah, the time, so maybe I can sleep two hours or three hours, my kids will wake me up again morning at 8 7 30 always my kids wake up early so i have no time i have to go to sleep eat something and sleep god bless you and we will see you tomorrow if the god willing if the god give me one more day alive god bless you all and see you tomorrow if the god willing peace of christ be with you